Hello, I'm Bernie Rush of Lean Ireland and today I am going to talk to you about process performance measurement, especially when your process is not performing well. So I'm going to take an example of a hospital admissions department where the staff are receiving in applications for admissions from patients. And we'll take for example of every 100 applications received in the first quarter of the year only 54 could be processed without having to revert back to the applicant. Now in this particular case patients would be required to put down simple things such as name and address, telephone number, but they may also be required to provide details of insurance, also details of their previous health record and those are reasonably complex things to fill in for certain patients. So the staff may have to send back the application forms or contact the applicants by phone. A simple measurement of process effectiveness here would be right first time. If only 54 in every 100 can be processed effectively, then the right first time measurement is 54%. This measurement is very useful as a high level, rough measurement that gives you a good idea of your process performance. The second measurement that I'm going to talk to you about is applicable in processes where there are a number of process steps and the yield from the process is measured at the final process step. So if we take for example in a manufacturing process that has three steps, we may believe for example that the yield of the process as measured in the final third step is 95%. However, if we examine the yield at each individual process step, that may also be 95%. In this particular case, the true yield from the process is only 86%. In other words, for every 100 products that start the process, only 86 come through, completed right first time without some form of rework or without being scrapped. And the way in which we calculate the rolled throughput yield is by multiplying the yield at each process step. So 0.95 multiplied by 0.95 multiplied by 0.95 gives you a yield of only 86%. That measurement is called rolled throughput yield. And I would encourage all of you who are measuring yield to adopt rolled throughput yield. It's a much better measurement of true process performance. If you have any questions on how to measure process performance, please be sure to contact us. We are here to help. Thank you for watching.